I'm Betsy. I manage dozens of Facebook campaigns here at Blue Corona every day. A lot of business owners think that running a Facebook campaign is extremely hard work, but it's really not. It's not that overwhelming. So today we're going to show you how to look at your Facebook analytics insights and make some great decisions about it. We're going to start at your business's homepage. This is where you start everything. It's where you post, it's where you can see your likes, it's where you can see your reach. Over here is where you can see insights from this week. What we want to do is we want to go up to the insight bar right here. What you're going to see when you first click the insight bar is an overview of everything. That means an overview of your page likes, your post reach, and the engagement. The engagement is how many people are interacting with your, with your posts and with your page. If we scroll down a little bit, you're going to see your five most recent posts. This is awesome because you can see how they're all performing. If you see one that's performing better than others, you might want to boost it. Now that gets into the paid advertising stuff, which we'll cover next time. A really fun feature that's in the new Analytics Insights page is the Pages to Watch section. Right here, it's going to compare the performance of your page and posts with similar pages on Facebook. So, like companies, maybe your competitors. There you can see how you're doing compared to them. Now we're going to go through each of the individual reports. You can find your reports up here in the tab bar. We've got likes, reach, visits, posts, and people. Of all five of these reports, where you want to start is the likes and the reach. These are going to give you a good baseline indication of how your page is doing. Let's start with likes. This measures your actual page likes, not the in particular likes for your posts. Down here we can see your total page likes as of today. You can also see how they're increasing over time. Now this isn't completely accurate as this doesn't take into account the number of people who have unliked your page. That's where we need to go down to net likes. Net likes shows the number of new likes minus the number of unlikes to give you a really nice measurement of where your page is. You can see down here in the red are the unlikes, and then up here are the paid likes and the organic likes. If you want to get into more detail, you could go down even further. Then you can see where your page likes happen. Do they happen on ads? Do they happen on page suggestions? Or do they happen on your page? If you're using paid advertising, the majority of these likes are going to come from ads. But this is a great gauge to see what days people are actually interacting with your page. Over here you can see a benchmark and you can get even more specific on the information that you're looking at. You can categorize it by people who are just doing page likes. You can see when it's happening and how often. You can see when the likes are happening on your page, when it's happening and how often. And you can also see page suggestions, when it's happening and how often. All right, the next report we're going to look at is reach. Now reach is how many people are actually seeing your posts. So let's go down and we'll see the number of people that your post was served to. Right here, it'll show you the day and how many people saw it on that day. This is a great insight for when you're going to post things. If you're posting things at 3 p.m. on a Monday, and your post reach is only, I don't know, 200 people, you should probably change your strategy. And this is the insight that you would use to do it. If we go a little bit further down the page, we'll see likes, comments, and shares. This is another insight that's great for helping you learn when to post. It'll help you see when people are actually interacting with it. Generally, you want to post when you see people interacting the most. If we go down a little bit further, we'll see the hide, report as spam, and unlikes. This is when you can see people who are not liking your posts, people who are hiding it, people who are reporting it as spam. If people are reporting your stuff as spam, you really need to change your strategy. The final section of the reach report is the total reach. This is the number of people who were served any activity from your page, including your posts, your posts to your page by other people, your page like ads, mentions, and check-ins. This is where you can gauge overall how many people are seeing what you're doing. The way that the total reach differentiates from the post reach is that this includes everything. This includes how many people 
share your post? How many people comment on it? How many people share something on your wall? Let's go up to the third report, visits. Visits is a nice report that'll show you how many times your page was viewed. This is a great tool because you can also see what time people are coming to your page, what days people are coming to your page. That can help you decide when to post. If you find that most people are visiting your page on a Wednesday, then you probably want to post things on Wednesday. If you see that no one is visiting your page on a Tuesday, don't waste your time posting on a Tuesday. External refers is any time that people come to your page from any other website except for Facebook. This can be your page, this can be another random page that referenced your Facebook page. Anytime that someone comes to your Facebook page from somewhere other than Facebook, it'll show up here. Right up here is where you can see where people are coming from. For us, a lot of people are coming from bluecorona.com. It can also come from the search engine like Google. Anytime anyone visits your page from anywhere else, it's shown here. Let's briefly look at posts and people. Your posts are going to show you the insights for each particular post. You can go by when your fans are online, your post types, and the top posts from pages you watch. This is another tool you can use to figure out when to be posting. If you scroll down, you'll see all of your posts, you'll see the type of post it was, you'll see who was able to see it, and how many people actually saw it. Then you can go over to the engagement, how many people interacted with it. We've already seen this page on the overview. It's just a little bit in more detail. If we go up, the last report, and one of the most important reports, is the people. Now this is the demographics of all the people who like your page. This is going to help when you consider the content of your posts, how you word it, the pictures that you choose. It's all going to depend on who these people are, what they like, and where they're from. It'll break it down by city. It'll also break it down by who's been reached, the number of people who actually saw your post. It doesn't matter if they like your page or not. Then you can go into how many people engaged with it, who commented on it, who liked it, who shared it. And that, in a nutshell, are Facebook page insights. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to join us the next time when we talk about paid advertising. We're going to be talking about how to do it for as little as a dollar a day and why it's a good option for your business.